The best way to test out and get a feel for the many features in Remind Docs Plus is to create a dummy transaction file and actually send documents to yourself for signing. For this reason, Remind Docs has test contacts or placeholders for real buyers, sellers, and cooperating agents. Any documents sent to a test contact will automatically be sent to your inbox so that way you can see what the other party experiences. First, we'll create a dummy transaction file from our dashboard. Next, I have to choose which side of the transaction I'll be representing. For this example, I'll be representing the buying side. Next, I'll give this transaction a name. I'll call it Test Contacts. To add a test buyer, begin typing buyer in the buyer field. Then select Test Buyer Remind. Same goes for the seller. Begin typing seller and then select the Test Seller Remind. I can also add a listing agent. Type listing in the listing agent field and select Test Listing Agent Remind. Now I will select my forms. For this example, we'll use form F201 because it has all the necessary fields. Click Next, and then open the form for editing. When I open the last page, I can see where my test contacts are populated. Note that in this example, I am represented as Agent 7. Going back to the top, I'm going to fill in a few important details, but not all of them right now, just to move this demonstration along. First, I'm going to manually type in an address, 123 Main Street. Next, I'll add a purchase price for the property. And then I'll fill out my offer date. And lastly, I'll add in a closing date for about a month later. Now I can move on to the signing phase. Navigate up to the Sign button in the top right corner. For this example, I did not fill out all the data, so I will click Continue on this pop-up. Now I will sign as myself, so I click Sign Now, and then Remind will take me to the Sign field where I can click to sign. Once I am done, I click Done, and then choose Sign as another to continue the signing process. I can sign as any party at any time if they are with me, or I can send the form off through email. For this example, I'm going to send this document to my test buyer to sign. So I click Send to Sign. Scroll down to add a message to the email like, Please sign ASAP, then send it off. So now moving over to my inbox here, I can pull up this email from Remind that shows me what my buyer would see. This email contains a link to continue signing as a test buyer. I'm going to right click on this link and open it up in an incognito browser, so that way I don't have to log out of Remind for my current session. Now, Remind shows my buyer exactly where to sign, so I can click into the initial field, where I then type to create the buyer signature, agree to the terms, and click create. Click once more to sign as the buyer, and now my buyer has completed signing. The buyer will receive an email with a copy to download for the records, and the agent will get an email notification as well. Moving back to my Remind Docs Plus dashboard, I can see that the document status has been changed to For Review. I can open it up and see that my buyer has signed their part. At any time, I can click on the History tab in the top menu bar to view a complete log of every change made to this form. So at this point, we encourage you to continue exploring Remind Docs Plus with our test contacts. Go through and try out this process with other forms and other test contacts to better understand Remind Docs Plus. For more information, Click on the support tab in the bottom left corner.